In this video, I'm going to be building the best possible team for 250,000 MT in NBA 2K23. My team at the starting point guard position, we are going to go for probably the best diamond point guard in the game, and that's going to be Diamond Marbury, and he's probably the best budget point guard in the game right now. This card's an amazing point guard, six foot three with a six foot four wingspan. He's going to be a super elite defender, 94 steel, 95 lateral quickness, with a 95 perimeter as well. Speed wise, going to be super fast, 95 speed, 95 acceleration. He's going to go into the rim, 85 driving duck 90 vertical he's also going to be great with the ball in his hands 92 ball handle 95 speed with ball and he's also got hall of fame clamp breaker and quick first step also having hall of fame challenger and glove is really really nice for your point guard so overall i'm gonna say marbury is going to be our starting point guard and he's going to provide us with some really good offense and being an elite lockdown defender now for our starting shooting guard position we're going to get a very well rounded card and we're going to go for the diamond kobe bryant i mean this card as a two-way shooting guard is going to be super elite for only about 30,000 MT maybe even a little bit cheaper like 25k he's a shooting guard small forward six foot six with a six foot 11 wingspan you take a look at the stats and like i said he's going to be very well rounded 82 steel 89 lateral quickness 86 perimeter 80 interior defense he's got an 86 three ball 92 mid range 88 speed 88 acceleration but the best thing about kobe bryant this year at least for now is his jump shot he's got a super easy jump shot the green and it's going to be on quick timing so it's going to be a very fast jump shot as well and that's why his diamond card is going to play obviously Obviously his pink diamond like his stats are so much better but we don't have that much mt to spend on this squad so we're going to pick up his diamond version for about 25,000 mt and he's going to give us some very solid defense with also being a great offensive card as well at the starting power four position we're going to go for diamond mpj and he is going to give us some really good offense yes he's not going to be the great uh, greatest defender but that's why we have marbury there to be our lockdown but Michael Porter Jr. here is a power forward, small forward, six foot ten with a seven foot wingspan. Like I said, going to be a great offensive card, 89 three ball, 92 mid range. And the best thing about this card, just like Kobe, is going to be his jump shot. It's not on quick timing, but it's actually going to be a fairly fast jump shot, and it's going to be super easy to green as well. So he's going to be our starting small forward. I mean, he's a solid defender on the perimeter. I mean, 87 steel, 88 lateral quickness, 88 perimeter is really not going to be that bad. He's also got Hall of Fame corner specialist, green machine, volume shooter, and some other really good shooting badges as well and then guys for our starting power four position this is where we're going to get a little bit more defense on the squad and we're going to go for diamond ben simmons now he's not going to be able to shoot threes and if you guys don't like cards that can't shoot threes and you want to have everyone on your lineup to shoot threes then i'll give you guys maybe an alternative option but ben simmons for his price about 20 to 25k he's going to be a super good valuable card at that power four position next to our center who i'll show you guys in a second he's a six foot 11 power forward small forward though with a seven foot wingspan he's got 91 speed 91 acceleration he's going to be a great all-around defender 85 block 87 steel 89 perimeter defense with an 84 interior he's really good at going to the basket he can handle the ball he's got hall of fame claim breaker quick first step bully posterizer like this card all around except for shooting threes is going to be super super elite and then like i said at the center position we're going to go for someone who's not the greatest of defenders and that's going to be diamond chris stops now chris stops is going to be a really good offensive center and that's why he's going to be on this team i think chris stops you can make a real argument that he's the best center in my team i think he's the second best behind a guy like cream so he's going to be a little bit of a liability on the defensive end i think he plays fine defense even on his own but that's why i want to go with a defensive power forward in a guy like like ben simmons but if you want to swap him out and you maybe want to go for a diamond moses malone i think that could be a pretty good option at that power four position you do have to lock in moses but he's only about like 30 to 40 000 maybe a little bit more like 40 to 50 000 mt for locking in the set but for me and my best possible team for under 250 000 i would go with a guy like diamond ben simmons to pair along a guy like chris stops chris stops is seven foot three with a seven foot six wingspan He's probably the best popper in the game right now. 93 ball, 90 mid range. He's got Hall of Fame catch and shoot, corner specialist, dead eye, and limitless range on Hall of Fame. Four year center is going to be absolutely insane to have. And he's also got gold amped, blinders, claymore, green machine, guard up, and volume shooter as well. So he's going to round off the starting lineup for the best team for 250,000 MT. And then off the bench, we're going to get another really good point guard. And that's going to be Diamond Darren Fox. Like the fact that we can have him as our backup point guard is going to be really, really nice to have on the bench. And he's definitely going to be one of our best cards off the bench he's a six foot three point guard with a six foot six wingspan 
I'm going to be super fast, 97 speed, 97 acceleration. Defensively, not going to be the greatest, but he's going to be solid on the defensive end. 88 steel, 94 lateral quickness with a 92 perimeter, but obviously going to have a flaw of only a 34 de interior defense and a 61 block. Going to the rim, going to be pretty solid. 85 driving dunk, 90 vertical. He's going to be super fast with the ball in his hands, having an 89 ball handle and a 97 speed with ball, having Hall of Fame claim breaker in quick first step. Jump shot wise, going to be super fast because it's on quick timing and it's a very easy easy jump shot the green in my opinion so overall for about 20,000 mt this card's going to be an amazing backup point guard for a backup small uh, for a backup shooting guard i should say we're going to get a kind of a card just like kobe and that is going to be diamond lance i mean these cards aren't too crazy themselves like they're not like crazy good cards they're not like super elite three-point shooters they're not like super good defenders but all around i mean they kind of do everything at a very high level like lance he's got a 90 ball handle 90 speed with ball 90 speed 92 acceleration he's going to be a very good defender across the board he can knock down threes he can drive to the basket i mean there's nothing this card really can't do so for 15,000 mt he's going to be a great backup shooting guard for the backup small four position i want to go for a little bit more of offense and i want to get a guy who's got an amazing jump shot and that is going to be diamond carmelo anthony if you guys don't know he's got one of the fastest jump shots in the game and one of the easiest to green as well he's a small forward power forward six foot eight with a seven foot wingspan yes he's going to be a liability on the defensive end but he's got a 93 ball 92 mid-range and like i said one of the best releases in the game because it's super fast and if you're in the corner with this guy it is very hard to contest and he's also got the mj dribble style and the normal leaner as well looking back at the stats he's even got like a 90 for ball handle 83 speed with ball hall of fame ankle breaker killer combos which is going to be really nice to have on your small forward and he's got some really good gold shooting badges like agent three amped blinders catch and shoot claymore corner specialist dead eye i mean this card is just going to be an absolute sharpshooter for about 35 to 40 thousand mt at the backup power forward position we do need to get a little bit more defense to kind of pair along guys like carmelo anthony and De'Aaron fox who aren't going to be the best of defenders so we're going to pair him with a guy like robert williams he's going to be super cheap which brings our cost down for the lineup which means we, we are able to spend more mt on different positions he's only about like five to ten thousand he's gonna be a great power forward at least a great defensive power forward he's six foot eight with a seven foot wingspan he can still shoot the three really effectively 88 three ball 84 mid-range having 85 speed 85 acceleration really good athleticism stats 92 strength 90 vertical he's going to be a great defender other than the 42 steel i mean he's got a 92 block 84 lateral quickness 82 perimeter with an 84 interior and he's also got a hall of fame corner specialist gold catch and shoot claymore green machine and guard up and then defensively he's got some really good gold defensive badges and overall robert williams is going to be an amazing amazing power forward for about 10,000 MT and then to round off these squad guys we are going to go for the amethyst Jared Allen who is going to be probably the best budget big man in the game if you don't count Porzingis as budget I mean this dude at the backup center position is going to bring us some really good defense he's a center six foot ten with a seven foot five wingspan 92 interior defense 90 block 80 steel 79 lateral quickness with a 79 perimeter he's also going to be glitched three-point shooting wise so he's got a 91 three ball 85 mid-range hall of fame corner specialist but he's also got gold catch and shoot claymore clutch shooter dead eye green machine and he's even got silver amped blinders guard up and limitless range so overall for about 10,000 mt jared allen gonna be an amazing backup center so yeah guys that's gonna be my best possible team for under 250,000 MT. Let me know in the comment section down below what do you guys think about the squad and maybe give us some suggestions as well as some you know upgrades we can make for this lineup. But I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.